100% Chelsea, Chelsea 4, Cardiff 1. Now, the last time I saw you, you were very analytical and broke the game down really well. Bit, yeah. Let's do it again, right? What went well and what could be improved on? Yeah, um, to be fair, I was a little bit disappointed with a slow start, of course. We had a few chances that we could have put away. To be honest, the warm-up did look a little bit slow, if I'm honest, but to be honest, I'm happy it came good. Um, what I spoke about last time, if you remember, sorry, been able to translate a message over to the team quick enough from the sidelines that happened and I think and that's the reason we got them in front again before the, before the half but you know the most important thing that I saw is that the guys didn't give up and um, they kept playing their football um, there's two three players in particular that I've got to give a massive shout out for today Kante phenomenal okay he sat in when he knew Kovacic wasn't fully at the races okay Barkley came on, had a brilliant vision, started spraying balls over, got Alonso on the last shoulder a couple of times. That kind of vision, that switch of the ball was just opening them up. As Cardiff are coming across, right, right back ain't tucking in, mate. And there's a lovely space for Hazard. And the Kante started popping forward, coming up. He received the ball in the box a couple of times. So massive well done for Kante. I think he was man of the match today for me. Mm -hmm. um, besides Hazard, of course, with the three goals. But I mean, you put Hazard, him in the back Hazard are just standard. We can glaze over that. You put him in the back of the net, that's fair enough. Yeah. But he's those little players that go unnoticed, you know, it's like the Makaleli of yesteryear. Do you know what I mean? He just, he just goes about his business and does his job. So I'm really happy about that. Um, Willian. Came on, was it was dangerous going at players, won a penalty, scored a goal, impact. He'd done exactly what he needed to do at a time when it was important, you know. A lot of the time he was checking back, coming back on. I think Sari needs a lot of credit today. Uh, Giroud is definitely the right shout. I was questioning it at the start, if I'm honest, okay. I thought, bloody hell, like, you know, they've got Bamba, Morrison there, they're big units, they're decent in the air. I'm like, Christ, what, what's he, are we trying to put the ball on his head or what? And he played it off by put, putting him in there, made him think that we're potentially going in long. And he just got his body in behind and started, like, pinging balls off, setting people in and bringing other players in his place. So I think Giroud done done a good job in that respect. One thing that I'd like to see him focus on a little bit more is stick to what he's good at. There's a, a little bit towards the end, he started running the channels, and it's good if you're creating space for somebody else running behind, but when the team's sitting off a little bit more, when it was at, this at 2-1, second half, um, when the team's sitting off a little bit more, you don't need to run the channel and make space in behind. Yeah. You need to just hold it up and get your team up the pitch a little bit more. So just a little bit more intelligent, but I guess that will come with the games. Morata, you've got to save his legs against two physical centre-backs in Morrison and Bamba. You don't really want to be getting Morata clattered all over when, the pitch. When, when I wouldn't back him in that battle. So, um, I've got, to, I've got to defend David Luiz as well. Uh, you know, everybody gets on his back about this, that, yeah. But yes, he's unorthodox. Yes, it doesn't look as neat and tidy as, as some of the other defenders that we've had in the past, you know. But when you think about it, he does his job. He does it well. How many times did you see him and Rudiger bring the ball into midfield and draw players out, leaving space for Jorginho, for Kovacic, for Kante? It was brilliant. And that's what he needed. I mean, Rudiger had, had, and Luiz had two runs. I think Rudiger actually had one where he got to the edge of the box and people were screaming to shoot twice. And the same with Luis once, you know, when you've got a defender that are that confident in the ball and you've got intelligent players like, you know, Dave on the side and, and Alonso and they can come back in and fill in and recognise that, right, he's on a run, mate, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tuck it and fill in for him. It's, it's, I think we're really, it's really, it's really looking up, to be honest, and we've got the strength in depth now to, to properly compete. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to, I'm looking forward to the rest of the season, to be honest, I'm really optimistic. Obviously, it's going to come down to the, the, the game against Liverpool, it's going to be quite crucial straight off the bat, that's a six-pointer for us. Um, Looking at how we conceded those couple against Arsenal and today a couple of times with a diag over the back uh, down, the, down the full-back positions, I'd be worried uh, with Mane and Salada. Um, I'd probably want to tuck in those five, secure the ball, and one of them goes out yeah. once you bring the ball out before both of them. Because the last thing you want to do is lose the ball in the midfield, one diagonal, and they're in behind. And that's what they do best in the counter, Liverpool. So we've got to be careful of that when that game comes about. But we've got a number of games for that, so I'm really happy. I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. Ask all me questions. Brilliant.